So once again, uh, we are expecting from the United Nations to prepare the ground for some developments on the Cyprus problem. What are your thoughts and uh, whether Jane Hollud reached you uh, for an update lately? Uh, yes, as you say, we're expecting developments. Uh, progress on a settlement has been very slow over the last three years. People have been waiting for the Turkish Cypriot elections. We now have a new leader uh, in the north, Mr. Tatar. Uh, and it is time to try and restart talks. From a UK perspective, uh, we look forward to engaging with Mrs. Lute whenever she wants to uh, visit London. And we look forward to taking part in five plus one talks as soon as the Secretary General is ready to host those. Yes, I mean, Mr. Tatar set out his uh, position, which I think is well known because he has been elected on this platform of two states, uh, and that's very clear. He has his position. Mr. Anastasiades has his position. The point of talks is to try and find some common ground between those positions. It is very clear from many things that the Turkish Cypriot side have said that they, they want to be treated as political equals to the, uh, to the Greek Cypriot community. Now, one way that that can happen, they say, is by having two separate and equal states. But it is, of course, also perfectly possible to achieve that within a federation. I think the problem is all of these issues that people talk about, whether it's Varosha or Morfu or the Treaty of Guarantee, the right of intervention, withdrawal of troops, all of this is hypothetical until you get back to a negotiation. But when you get to the negotiation, then people bring their different positions and they make the trade-offs and they find the compromise. That's what needs to happen. I can't resist from asking you this. Um, London, as you said, has been always been uh, supportive towards um, the wishes of the two communities in Cyprus uh, regarding the Cyprus problem. Hypothetically speaking, uh, if the parties end up on a two-state model agreement or even a confederation, how would you react? I mean, fundamentally, if the Cypriot people and the Cypriot leaders say, we have a solution here that we agree on, then why would the UK say we don't agree? Even if that's a confederation or a two-state solution? Well, it's not for us to say. You know, there's no... Nobody has handed down from on high a solution that must be reached in Cyprus. The, the leaders, the leaders are the ones, this, we've always said this is a leader-led solution. They are the ones who reach an agreement. Now, if they can reach an agreement between themselves, and of course, critically, if they can get the support for their communities in a referendum, then I think everybody uh, will be very happy with that. I mean, I think we, of course, have to be very realistic at the moment that a, a two-state solution is uh, not considered a popular solution on the Greek Cypriot side, and nobody can see it being approved in a referendum at this time. <laughs>